What's going on guys, Mr. Domo here and I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So uh, I, I just wanted to share with you guys uh, probably one of the uh, one rare uh, variant of my Jawa collection here and obviously I did an update video and I believe the last time was when I obtained this uh, vinyl cape uh, Jawa there and you know so far I, I've you know, I've I've gotten so uh, you know attached to these Jawas, and and I've I've been hunting down different variants. And a good friend of mine, uh, John, over at the Action Figure Grader, pointed out that a rare variant was being sold, and I had to jump on it. And so today it arrived, and that is this little guy right here. And uh, so, as you can see, he's he's not in the best condition, but I mean, still, uh, this is a gray stitch Jawa. So this is a 1977 Kenner Star Wars loose action figure, uh, country of origins, Hong Kong Jawa, and this is a gray stitch variant, and he received a 75, so excellent plus slash near mint. But uh, you know. This, this is recently graded. This was graded around in July. So this is pretty recent. And I, you know, besides the forums, you know, why, you know, I try to do my research on how many different variants there are out there. And, and it's pretty crazy. I mean, I, I, these Jawas, man, they're all over the place. But, uh, you know, there's only one pit, one photo, well, actually two, one in the forums that I've actually seen, and then one that was actually being sold on this online toy store uh, that was like not graded. It was just a loose uh, Jawa, and they labeled it at the as a gray stitch. But I've never seen one graded, and here we are. I mean, this thing is beautiful, and I'm trying to not get the glare, but I think at this angle you could pretty much tell right there at the sleeve that that's you know definitely gray color right there which is kind of crazy because you could kind of you know mistake it for maybe a, a light gray or maybe a green stitch so uh, I'll see if I could bring up so I believe this guy right here yeah so this guy right here is a uh, you know yeah he's a light brown stitch uh so as you can see maybe not no no I, I thought maybe he could compare but no there's a there's a difference in color there so you could definitely tell the the brown compared to the the gray right there and this is probably the best angle i could get it at though uh so yeah the light brown's on my left and then the gray is on my right so definitely unique there and then of course you know uh, besides that, I do have the uh, dark brown stitch, which really blends in with that cape. So uh, that's very interesting. Uh, then I have the uh, purple stitch here. And this one's a little bit somewhat noticeable. I mean, you really got to get into the light. And I, I don't know, my camera's not trying to focus there. There you go. So as you can see, there's there's that color. So somewhat of a hint of purple there. Uh, but I, you know, even for a green stitch, and, and here I have the green stitch. And so they almost kind of look identical, almost, but obviously the gray stitch is a lot darker. And this is my, uh, this is my dark green stitch uh, Jawa. And this one has the green stitching all around the uh, actual cape there. And you can actually see it on the hood. Now I have another interesting variant. And, and you know, John was telling me that this is probably somewhat rare. Uh, someone was telling me it's not that these are common, but I still have not seen it in the market. But this is a green stitch only on the sleeves, and as you could you excuse me, as you can see, uh, there's only green stitching on the sleeves, and that's it. And then at the bottom there, you could tell that it's kind of like a brown stitch there, maybe probably a a, a light brown, maybe uh, probably light brown, but that's it. You know, even on the hood, it's just a brown stitch, but and and it's kind of interesting that they only added green stitching to the sleeves, and you know, uh, besides that, behind the uh, the Jabas or the vinyl cape Java, excuse me, uh, these are my two small hooded uh, Javas here, and you know, these guys right here, this is a small hood dark stitch. And this one's really hard to tell. Like that, that dark stitch is almost just black, pretty much. Uh, so that is pretty interesting. And so, uh, and and then this one, this one's a light brown stitch, as you could tell on the hood right there. But this is a small hood smooth cape. Uh, and these were kind of common with the uh, the original Power of the Force, where the the Java came with the coin. And so, as you can see, you know, that's this one has the. Um, 
the what's it call it the dark stitch also but uh this is you know a small hood smooth cape and i don't know if they if they don't have room to annotate it that it's a dark stitch but uh like this one here you know this one's pretty much a small hood dark stitch uh and that textile looks pretty much smooth to me so pretty interesting that they uh you know there's two different variants when it comes to those guys but this gray stitch i mean this is really crazy and like i said i mean it's, it's got to be super rare i mean i've rarely see it come around and i rarely see even even on on you know uh you know groups you know even on like facebook groups and stuff like that i rarely see people uh you know show off their gray stitch uh jawas you know what i'm saying so this is pretty interesting and i just wanted to share that with you guys i mean i'm super i i'm ecstatic to to have this in the collection and and you know the there is other rare variants out there with these java there is the uh there is a maroon kind of like a red stitch that's going on and that one i haven't even seen yet so i, I don't even know if if they're even out there or if people are just you know they're probably just not going to sell it or whatnot so that's probably a hard to obtain one uh and of course you have the two lily ladies out there that uh they have the um the hood that's attached and you have one that's uh detached and then there's one that's actually super super rare uh that is uh, attached to lily lady uh hood with white stitching and so that one i have not seen i've seen both lily ladies with uh hoods uh attached or detached but i have not seen the the white yet i have not seen the maroon yet and i think right now there's a i've I want to say that they might be a burnt one, like an orange color one, but I don't know if that actually you know goes with the maroon. Maybe that's you know the two different ones out there. But so far, I mean, uh, this is I I I like I'm like I said, man. I, I can't even like speak right now. I'm super excited to have this. This is a super rare variant of a Jawa out there, and and it's crazy. Once you get into collecting, it's just like man, you're trying to find every different variants that are out there. But I. I'm super stoked to get this guy uh his eyes a little wonky i've noticed that he's got like one big eye and then one small eye so uh <laughs> he does have a crazy little look uh there you know the eyes are also like a, a crazy variant too so you have like the almond uh shaped eyes you have tiny little itty bitty eyes and you have round eyes pac-man eyes so uh even the eyes are are, are crazy uh little variants there but i, I just wanted to sh you know share that with you guys i, I am super excited uh a, a gray stitch jawa i i have not seen one before and now i own one and it is just super crazy so uh <laughs> that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching man if you haven't subscribed subscribe i try to upload every week and uh uh, I will talk to you guys in the next video.